Hello everyone. It is Michelle Littler with Owl Star Stampers and it is Wednesday, June 15th, 2022. And I am here to make three amazing cards for our June virtual card class. So I'm very excited. We will start in just a minute. Let me know you're here. Leave me a comment below whether you're watching live or on the replay. Oh, I saw some hearts. Awesome. Hello, Carla. Hi, Barb. It's good to see you guys hopping on. Hi, Nita. Uh, Nita, I've been meaning to email you. You can order the cherry bundle. I meant to message you. You're still good to go. Hello, Della. Hi, Mary and Tara and Carol and Debbie and Denise and Sharon. Hi, everyone. So good to see your names popping on. I hope you all are having a wonderful Wednesday and a great week. It is, it is Michigan or summer in Michigan. It has arrived. It, it's a uh, the mid 90s here today and over a hundred and one or something with the heat index. So it was uh, a nice warm day today, still warm up, but my kids are still in school. Tomorrow is their last day. So um, I came into work really early and worked until I had to pick them up at their half day. And then we went home and we went swimming. It was really hard to come back here tonight, but I had all my cards and everything set to go. So I have uh, a couple of variety of some cards to create with you tonight. Uh, some cards. It seems like it's hot in a lot of places. Uh, Shelly said it's really hot in Georgia too, I imagine. My friend said that in um, Texas, oh my shirt, um, that her pool, the shallow end, was like bath water. And I was like, I bet it is. So... All right. Well, we are going to get started. So in June, or not June, it's June right now. In May, I missed my virtual class because of my surgery. And I love doing my virtual classes because I get to make a variety of cards and pick some stamp sets to showcase for you. And then I give you the option if you want to get the make and takes from me. You have to place an order. And so um, I'm switching up a little bit going forward. Uh, I used to do four cards, but now we're going to be doing three. And um, so there'll be three different cards. Now, you have to have your own stamp sets or the bundle in your own ink. Or you can change it out. If I use a flower set, you can use any flower. Um, or you can purchase if you are like fall in love with the cards. You can obviously add that on your to your order to get it for free. So the host code for June is that one right there. That's the one I've had all month. So if you've actually placed an order with me this month uh, for the levels I have, then you're already um, going to be getting these uh, cards. So what I like to do is if you order at least $35 before shipping and tax, you'll get the all the pieces to make these cards. Now, um, if it's something that's stamped and has to be die cut, you will have to have the dies. Um, you'll also have to do your embossing, but if it's like a circle or some type of label, like that will be done for you. So I do that for you. Um, so that's how that works. So $35, you'll get the make and take sent to you as a thank you gift from me. If you bump your order up to 50, um, this month you're going to get the 2021-2023 in color opal rounds. So these are what they look like. These are from our past in colors, but they kind of coordinate with a variety of colors. And I use them on the cards today and they're very, very pretty. So this will be your gift if your order gets $50 or over. Now, if you decide to order um, at least $100, with the code right there before shipping and tax, I have something a little extra for you. And you guys know I love, love, love ribbon. <laughs> and I go overboard with it all the time. So what I have is a little ribbon sampler for anybody. And you're going to get 10 yards of ribbon, 
two, uh, five different ribbons, two yards of each one, and they're all gonna be different because, and they're all retired Stampin' Up! ribbons. So they're all Stampin' Up! colors. Um, so here's like a sample. So this is quite long. And like we have a Daffodil Delight, Coastal Cabana, Rich Raspberry, Gray Granite. I think this orange might be tangerine something or other, but it would still coordinate with our oranges. But anyway, you might get pinks and greens and, you know, it'll be a variety. This is just a sample of what it would look like, but 10 yards. So that's a lot of ribbon. So you'll get something like this in your package also if your order goes over $100. Now, if your order is over $150, don't use a host code. Just make sure you're, you're selecting me and you can get the host benefits and you'll still get all my stuff. So if you have any questions with any of that, just let me know and I can help you. I don't know why my shirt keeps falling off my shoulders. Maybe it's a little, I don't think it's too big for me, but I'm sorry about that. It's driving me crazy and I'm sorry I keep messing with it. So anyway, that is how the virtual class works. So we have a brand new annual catalog. Well, it came out in May. So we've only had it for about a month and a half. And next month starts our mini catalog. So if you are in my card club, um, I will be sending out those catalogs to you. If you want one, uh, message me um, and I will get those out. So I know that there's a lot of stuff that you guys might want. So now is a good time to get some extra little freebies from me as well. Okay, let's do the stamping. I'm so excited to do the stamping. Thank you for your comments and sharing. If you're watching over on YouTube or if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, head over there and give that video a thumbs up and a like too. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, here we go. We are going to be stamping today with one. We're going to start out with one of my favorite bundles. Did you see the video that posted? I believe it was yesterday. I did a video on the swaps I got from when I went to Utah. Look at this. There's like 74, 73 swap cards in here. I did a whole video over on YouTube showing you all of these amazing cards. So if you missed that, it's over on my YouTube channel. So all your pieces will come in an envelope um, that you will need. If there's anything that needs to be like stamped, you will get like um, little pieces for that. So for this card, pretend like all of this is in an envelope. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot the circle. This is the only card I didn't have prepared before I went home to go swimming. Um, so the, we need to die cut the circle. But um, So this one you're going to want the cherry bundle because you're going to stamp and punch out your cherries and your little stems and leaves. So I know my friend Nita, she, I saw her on here. She was, she messaged me, I have to get that cherry set. Um, up here in Traverse City, Michigan, they're known for their cherries. And so um, cherry festival, but this is just the sweetest set ever. And so we're gonna be using it tonight. And I'm gonna show you where it is in our catalog. It's towards the front. I showed you in the video, I used, I made a swap card with this um already uh right here so it's on page 19 the bundle so you get the stamp set and the punch for 33.25 and it looks here's the punch so you got two leaves the stem and the cherry that's what it looks like and then it um so 33.25 and the item number is 158717 um so uh, Nadine says, I can't find you on YouTube. Okay, when you go to YouTube, you can search at the top. Just type in Owl Star Stampers, and then my channel should pop up. And then you can hit subscribe and hit the bell. So then you will get notified anytime I upload um, new content for you. So maybe that will help, Nadine. I hope, hopefully. So here's a sweet little bundle we're going to use today. So for these cards, I'll just give you the ribbon you need. Um, this ribbon I know is on back order, or not back order, you can't get it, it's sold out right now. But I have enough of it that I can include it in your kits, unless I sell like 200 kits, which I don't think I will. Um, so you'll just get a piece of ribbon um, in there, and you can just make your bow. So I already did my bow ahead of time, but I love this ribbon, it's that black and white gingham ribbon. So we got a bow. But I do have to die cut a circle real quick. 
and I need to die cut it from the stylus shapes. So friends, I know I've been showing these probably every single week since they came out. I have a couple sets of these. You're going to want to get them. They have like, um, it's not stitching, but it's kind of like little dots. There's the banners, the circles, and the squares. And I actually die cut. You're going to get a banner that's in black. So I did that. And then you're going to want a circle that's in white. So again, these will be done for you in your packet when you place your order. But I need to cut out the white one. And I have my mini little machine right here. So if you have the little mini Stampin' Boss machine, um, use plate three, the gray one. Don't follow the directions. This is the one time I'm telling you not to follow the directions and to use plate three because it will work really good. The other one, sometimes it doesn't, the one it tells you to use, it sometimes won't feed through all the way. It does like for me half, half and half. So I shared that tip, but somebody just recently asked me again. So I just thought if you, um, maybe you just got one or you haven't used yours yet, use plate three, the gray plate, um, and then you're all set. It works all the time. I love this. When it was on sale, that's why I promoted the crap out of it because it was, it's really awesome. Okay, so here is our shape. Again, you'll have yours done already. And now we can get to stamping our first cards. Sorry, I just had a few minor pieces. Thank you for sharing, Carol. I appreciate that. All right, so... Here we go. So our card base, I'm using polished pink. So um, I was using the Sweet Sorbet, like in this card. Um, that's a really pretty color. Or you could use real red, like this card. So you can do your cherries, like, and then this one used, like, a cherry cobbler and then a blushing bride. So you can use, make your cherries all, I mean, cherries are different colors. This, these ones are going to be pink because I like pink and it's just a cute, cute card. So we have our card base and then I have these two layers here. Um, also if you're subscribed on my email list, you'll get a PDF tutorial of these three cards. Um, it won't be, um, sent out tomorrow, but it'll be sent out like kind of in the reminder email, like reminder, get your orders in. And so anyone that's on my email list will, can get the free PDF for these cards. So I just wanted to let you know that. But I'll tell you some of the measurements, but they'll all be in that free PDF. Just make sure you're subscribed to my email. Um, basic white, five and a quarter by four. Granny apple green, five by three and three quarters. So those are those measurements. We're going to want polished pink ink and granny apple green and then Versamark. So if you know Versamark, what are we going to do? One of my favorite new things. So then on your, you're going to get like a scrap of granny apple green and you're going to want to punch out two of your stems. So you're going to have to punch out your own stem. So if you don't have the cherry punch and it's not for you, use a strawberry punch or use a flower on here. You can use the same layout for different things too, but the cherry is pretty darn cute. So you might want to get it if you don't have it. So you're going to punch that out of your scrap. And then on the pink that you get, you'll get like a square of pink, the polished pink. We're actually going to stamp this cherry twice and then punch it out. And I'm going to do the polished pink on the polished pink cardstock. So here we, here we go here. And I'm going to ink this up. This is kind of um, a little bit of like a distinctive stamp, at least to me, because you see that how it, well, it just has a little, it's a, it's just so cute. So cute. And I'm going to do this one on this side. Okay, so now we're going to, okay, see that? I need to cut across like that and then punch this out. So just, I love, you guys, I love punches. All right, so there's that one. 
And then I'm gonna punch out this cherry. Now on your black banner, I am like so obsessed with uh, stamping in the white embossing powder or stamping in Versamark and doing white embossing powder on black. And so that's what we're gonna do on this label. And I stamped, thank you for being so, um, in Versamark on here. And then you add your white embossing powder heat, set it with your heat tool. You guys, we have an awesome embossing kit coming out in the next catalog. Like with the tray and the brush and the like tweezers, it's gonna be awesome. Um, anyway, you're gonna stamp that in your Versamark, white powder, heat set it, and then boom, it's gonna look like this. <laughs> and it's like shiny and really cute. So we have that now. I gotta clean this off. And my chamois needs to be re uh, wet. So I'm just gonna use a baby wipe here. So let me just clean that off for you guys. And we're done with the pink. So close that up. Okay, the other thing I did is I took um, a, uh, a black marker. I cannot find my black Stampin' Blunt. So I don't know where they're hiding, but I need to find them. But we're gonna stamp sweet at the bottom here with our stamp and Granny Apple Green ink. I'm just gonna do this towards the bottom here. Like that, I just kind of center it. And then I'm going to flick a little bit of green um, dots on, little splatters in the background. You can also stamp the stem and the leaf and also even put the little veins in the leaf if you want. And then this cherry has a little bite out of it. And then this is kind of like a little basket weave like stamp there. So that's really cute too. So I'm just going to flick a little bit of ink on the background. Just be careful with your tip, but you kind of just drag it across the cap and then it just adds a little bit of speckles to the background. So it's just not so plain and I like the way my blend my stampin blends do better than the stampin right markers so this is a water-based marker where our blends are the alcohol but I don't know that they just work better for me I think I get bigger little dots but anyway it looks like this now you see those little splatters okay let's start putting this card together so we're gonna add this then okay the next card we're we're using um these stamp sets next so i'm excited about these brood for you and nature's print so those are what's coming up next all right so we're gonna stick this down and then we're going i just got ink all over me we're going to layer this onto our card base like this over here okay then we're going to take our circle with it has that little detail all the way around and we're gonna I'm just going this down flat you can totally pop it up if you want that's gonna go there and then we have our cherries and they're going to go something like this. And then this little leaf, I want to sponge. And I have something that I soon will be announcing, a cool organization thing with sponge daubers. Like, look at this. This is so cool. I just need to figure out my pricing. But they're all labeled. I have one for every color, and I'm going to offer that to you guys if you love to sponge. Um, I was sick and tired of not having the right colors, or they're all mixed up. So anyway, I came up with a thing, but I just have to 
put it all together and then offer that to any of you that would like it too. So we sponged the little leaf and now we're just about done. So this, this uh, cherry I'm going to put flat and then the other one I'm going to pop up with a dimensional which I have dimensionals right here. Thank you for sharing Lori. Let me know also at the end of this what your favorite card is of the night. Then I need uh, mini glue dots. So mini glue dots for the stem or we can use my liquid glue. So just a little bit of this liquid glue. A little bit goes a long way. Probably going to get my fingers all stuck. I don't see my, I need my mini glue dots though for my bow. Oh, I see them. I had to clean my desk off and that's always good and bad because believe it or not, when it's messy, I can usually find things faster, which makes no sense. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Okay, then we're gonna take this leaf and we are, I'm gonna pop that up with a dimensional. You can use a mini too. I'm gonna put that up here. Then we're going to take our sentiment. Thank you for being so sweet. I should have moved that cherry up a little bit. So this is going to cover up a little bit of the bottom of the cherry, but that's all right. It should have been a little bit higher. I'm going to put two on the back of here. And then we'll put our... Um, our little bow, which is kind of a little too big. So let me pull it a little bit and then get our glue, glue dot. Hello, Peg. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> I just saw her comment come up. And I'm just going to put this over to the side here like that and trim it down. Now the final thing we're gonna do, remember if your order goes over 50, you get these really pretty um, in color opal rounds. I'm gonna take the pink ones and add a few of those uh, on here. So I'm gonna take, there's like a bigger size and a smaller size. So I'm gonna add one here, and one here, and one over there. And there we go, that's our card. What do you think? Let me know what you think of this one. Here's my other one. So this one, the cherry is up a little bit higher. But that's our first card for tonight. Pouch pink and granny apple green. Oh, I see your hearts. Good, I'm glad you like it. Now, our second card is going to be um, kind of a little masculine card. And so we are going to be using the Brood For You bundle. So I had got this in and then I gave it away in an event, like a raffle. Um, we do some raffles uh, at some of our classes. And so these have some dies and they will cut out these mugs and um, bubbles, there's leaves, there's, you know, all kinds of, there's like a, that little kind of glass kind of reminds me of a wine glass. But anyway, I just thought this was a fun little set. And so we're going to make a card with this one next. And I believe I have it all good to go. So we need... Let me, ooh, did you hear that? Let me get the pieces though. They're over here. Alright. So, these are the pieces. So I have the thick basic white. That's going to be our card base. And give it a good crease. Okay, so here's our card base. And then I have a piece of early espresso that measures five and a quarter by four. And I ran it through the time-worn embossing folder just because it looked too 
plain flat. So it just gave it a little bit of texture. So any kind of folder. So you can pick whatever one you want. You don't have to use the same one, but then we're going to just go ahead and attach that down to the front. If you ordered the Mega Masculine class, I think those were set to ship either tomorrow or Friday, but I do have a disclaimer. My order is just arriving tomorrow. So they might be a day or two late because of the shipping. So I just want to let that out there. Um, uh, that is coming. I just had to wait on Stampin' Up! to get me my order. Um, so just want to let you know. So now I have a piece of this awesome paper and it's four by three and it's from that He's the Man pack and you might get one of two different versions. There's uh, another piece here. I'm trying to lift up my computer and not, it's like stuck. I'm literally holding my computer with one hand trying to pull this down and here it is so um, there is or you might get this piece so they're kind of similar but a little bit different but that's the back of that which I love that piece so you'll get a piece of that in your kit four by three and then what I went ahead and did is I um, took the edge of my scissors if you ever want to distress your paper especially like designer series paper and just kind of run it along the edge and it will show you kind of that like do you see how it's like white so I went and did that on this piece if you you don't have to do this but this is what I did or if you have an old trimmer and you never change the blade you could just cut your paper with that <laughs> and that will always give you a little distressed uh, piece too. We normally don't want that look. All right, so, or if the sound or feel of this drives you crazy, then don't do it. All right, so there's that. And now I'm going to attach it down, but a little bit more to the left than the right. So kind of like that. So we'll go ahead and glue that down. And then I went ahead and I have a circle. Now I embossed mine, and so you can do yours if you want as well, but I embossed it with this folder right here. It kind of looks like splatters, but it comes with two folders. Let me show you where they are on the back, because I kind of overlooked these right here. Um, stripes and splatters, this one right here, you get two of them. For ten dollars and um, uh, you get the splatters and then the stripes so I use the splatters one and I embossed the circle I'm going to stick that down over here both sides look good and then we're going to get into our little mug so I um, took the dies I wanted it to look like a frosted glass and so I saw this card on Instagram from, um, what is it called, Stamping Through the Catalog. Somebody had posted a card and I absolutely loved it. So I can't take credit. They, I took their design and I just tweaked it anyway. Changed it, um, a few things I changed around, but that's where I got my idea. So this was not my original idea, but I loved the colors and everything. So I took this piece right here, see it has little bubbles, and I cut out in crushed curry this. So it kind of like embossed, there's the little like bubbles in there. Now, um, I didn't use that piece, I only used this piece. And then I took this and I did the like foam little bubbles here in white. And you can also stamp these too and die cut them also. And then I did the mug, I'm calling it a mug, the stein, what is this, a stein? I don't know, um, in vellum. So it looked like frosted anyway. And I did that with this one. So I will die cut these pieces for you. So these pieces will be die cut for you because there's no stamping on them. Okay, but you'll have to do your own embossing. So those are the dies. Oh, and this bundle is, let me show you real quick because I'm going to forget because this one goes together really quick. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. 
it's on page 83, um, right here. So the whole bundle is $37.75, and you get the dies and the stamp set. Um, and the item number is 159093, but there, there it is for you. So, I, so what I did next is before I glued this down, I took my sponge dauber and crushed curry ink, which is out on my table. Just gotta find it right here. And I sponged it to make those little bubbles like stand out a little bit more. So let me get my sponge dauber. Look it, and I love it because it's labeled Crush Curry. And I'm going to go around this to make those, just give it a little bit of depth and stand out. Now, um, you could make this darker color or it could be root beer, root beer, root beer, whatever you like. Okay, there's that. Now, to put it together, because you know with vellum, we don't want to add a bunch of glue because it will see, it will show through. So, what I did is I put one mini glue dot. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut out the lines. So the stamp set is so cool. It has like the little lines in there. So you can take this and cut those out. Now this part I'm not gonna do for you. You'll have to either use your solid or you actually, we'll do this one solid and you can, but on my original one, I cut out those little three lines. This one will just, oh, but you can't see it as much, no. So you might wanna cut these out. I'm just trying to figure. I think it would look fine, but I'll do it how I did in the original one. So I'm going to run this through. Okay. And then it looks like that. Now it'll just show more of that through there. But it would be easier to attach the other way, probably. Okay. So here's where I took a glue dot at the bottom and then I took this piece and there's the bubbles on the side there and then I stuck it down so it's not completely full. Now what's going to happen is we're going to have a banner that goes across here which is going to tack down the center piece here. So I'm not worried that it's not completely attached because I'm going to have a banner going across there in, in a little bit. So then I just took this with some dimensionals and I put this down. And I use two. And then we will put this over here. And I like that. Then you're going to take the little, so this top also will help kind of like, I'm going to put it kind of a little bit over the top like that. And you could use the minis or the regular. And I think I'm actually going to use both of the little minis right here. So on the big piece, I'm going to use a big one. And then I'm going to use one of the minis on the side over there. So kind of like, I got to get it in the right position though. So like that. And then the little foam coming off will come over here. I'm going to kind of put it over the top to kind of hold it down. So there we go. That's what it looks like so far. And you can see that uh, frosted mug there. Okay, then on a half inch strip, we're going to stamp in black ink. I use Memento the um another round for your birthday or there's i owe you one or several or o ale yes so fun little set i was just looking through cards for my card rack and i had like no masculine birthday cards so i'm on a mission to make and fill that up and have them on on hand 
So we're going to stamp this on a half inch strip and it will fit, but it is tight. So if you need a bigger piece, go ahead. But there we go. Got that stamped. And now we will put this together. So what I did is I just cut the end straight. You could make it a banner if you wanted. Straight. Look, at, I, I did another one just in case I messed it up. And you know what? I actually stamped this in early espresso. But the black actually looks okay too. So I did originally early espresso because of, of that. So either one. Maybe I should use the early espresso. Because it does coordinate the best. So use early espresso and not black. I guess I got a little excited there. Okay, I'm gonna put one dimensional uh, underneath the left side and on the right side, I'm going to add my regular seal because that is gonna go, it's gonna go like across here and this will be raised like the cup and then that will help kind of seal that down too. So there was a reason why I did it this way. So peel that backing off here. And then to embellish this card because can't use all kinds of or I usually don't and you could put it down here if you want to hide that glue dot a little bit it's barely showing so I'm just gonna add that there um, I went ahead and I die cut from the give it a whirl the give it a whirl dies have these really cool stars so you'll get like um, a couple different stars. You might have two yellows and a Cajun craze or two Cajun craze and a yellow, but they'll be different sizes. And then we're going to add uh, the stars on. And I just did, uh, I use glue dots because I like those the best. Actually, I'm going to put this one up here and then the bigger one down here. And then this and this. I just can't pick them up for whatever reason. My hands are like rubber. We'll do this and this. All right, so now to the very, very last thing, because remember, if your order goes over 50, you'll get the these. So there's like some yellow ones. You can skip this if you want, but I think they looked cool and it didn't look too girly because they do have a little sparkle in them, but I thought it looked good with it tied in the yellow anyway. So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put a little, little bubble in here. And then I'm going to put another one. You could put it in the star or over here. I'm going to actually put it in the star. So there is... That one with the mug and here's my original one so again you might get some different a variation of those stars but it will they all look good together so there's that card with the brood for you thank you Patsy um, so there's our card number two we have one more to do and the other one is like a really pretty pretty card so there's that card all right, our last card is featuring the Nature's Prints. My stamp is stuck to the front. This here, which I know I made another card with this bundle also, but I'm using it again because it's beautiful. We're using the Fern 3D embossing folder. So if you don't have that, you might want to get it. And the set of dies it comes with, I need those, um, are these. And they're really pretty. So I already went ahead and cut out the label. The label will be done for you. So here's, it has like this little embossed, or yeah, like a little edge on it. And then you're going to need these dies. This one and this one. So you have to stamp your flowers and die cut them. So you'll get a scrap piece of white in your kit. And again, if you don't have a stamp set and you're like, 
I have a lot of flowers, then just pick a different flower set. Like that's totally okay. Or I'm telling you this one, ooh, my little, my little bubbly came out of my dye. Uh, the Sun Prince is really a beautiful set here. It looks like there's a whole suite right here. So this is what I'm using this bundle here. It's on page 91. It's $55.75. Um, and the item number is 158801. It says, you're on my mind. A heartfelt thank you. Hello there. And best wishes and happy thoughts. So that's what we're using. And on my original card, I used Night of Navy. And so on this one, I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. So I'm going to use a little bit of a different tone. But I think it's still going to look great. And that folder is with that suite. It's one of the 3D ones. So it should be $10 if you don't have it. And let's go ahead and start assembling this card. So again, this is a thick white card base. And then I have the fern embossed in five and a quarter by four. If you don't own this, um, just emboss it in something else. And then let's do our stamping. So you'll get like a piece of scrap white like this. You'll probably get two pieces of this and one you can emboss and one you can stamp on. So that's kind of usually how I do that in your kit. And I did trim my stamp set down a little bit because um, sometimes you get that um, too much of an edge and you get ink. So I did trim, I don't know, for whatever reason, this one had more of an edge. So I didn't cut that off. If you're wondering why mine looks the way it does, that's why. And then we're just going to ink these up. I'm using Evening Evergreen this time. I'll show you my other card when we're done. Isn't that just a really like delicate looking stamp. Is that the right word I'm looking for? I don't not like flowers, but I like more cute, fun, like cute, cheerful, cute, cutesy stuff, I should say. But this that I have used quite a bit. Then we're gonna stamp that. And I didn't get the top all the way, so I'm going to do it again. There we go. That one's much better. All right. I just don't feel as confident sometimes using some of these, like, really, I feel like they're, like, fancy. Um, okay, then I'm going to stamp mine, You're On My Mind. So I feel like that's kind of like a thinking of you. And the one that really fits in here the best is... Uh, best wishes, best wishes and happy thoughts. But um, this one will fit in there too. You're on my mind. Um, so I'm going to use that and I'm just going to pull it down and hopefully I get it. There we go. Got it right there. All right. Yeah, Janelle, um, if, if ever you have like, you know, more of an edge and you find that you're always like catching it on your paper, just take some snips. Just don't cut, um, you know, where it is, but you can trim off a little bit. In fact, when I first started stamping up, our stamp sets came on one giant piece and you had to like cut them all apart. It actually took quite a while to kind of assemble a stamp set. So, um, yeah, you definitely can do that. Just be careful and don't chop off, like, more of But you can see how mine kind of fits in there now a little bit different. But it performs, like, almost better because it has, I trimmed off a little more of the edge anyway. All right, now we're just going to die cut these. So I'm using my mini, little mini machine, so I need to trim this down a little bit. And this card is just really, I thought it was really pretty. Okay, so let's do these. And bring this in. Oh, you guys remember when you had to cut them down too? When I, so I was like kind of scared to get, like order my first stamp set. I thought, how in the world, how do I use this? Because number one, you had to have wooden blocks. After you cut it down, you had to mount it to a wooden block. And so it was quite the process that we had 
it's like you almost forget because we've had like you know the clear acrylic blocks now for so long okay so I just have my thing here and I'm going to run this through Janelle that this set reminds me of one that you guys would like <laughs> to so speaking of your uh, comment uh, when I saw your name I thought you would love that set I think it's a fun one for sure okay and then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna die cut this so lay that down put your die over just line it up now there's a little hole in the bottom here so when you see that um, through you know it's lined up good and then just don't move it again and keep moving it and then put your top on and run <laughs> Patsy says she remembers that system of uh, stamps and wooden blocks yeah you had to put the stickers on and yeah you had to get them straight you guys are right it's so much easier now it's such an improved system all right so I'm gonna put my move this aside and put my dies back okay so now we're going to put our card together so we have these three pieces oh and then you're gonna have a piece of linen thread in your kit too so pretend like I already had that out because I didn't have this in um, you'll have a piece of linen thread like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach <coughs> this down you can also pop it up if you want this is going to go here like so and then isn't that so pretty so white on white and then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna use dimensionals and the mini. So I have both the mini and the regular. So we're gonna add a few here. I'm gonna put a mini one up at the top and then I'm gonna take these off. Should have probably waited now that I'm like, I need to position this first. I got a little ahead of myself. And then I need to pop that little bit out there and then take a dimensional here and over here. So um, there is that. So there's those. So we're going to take these off and now Some of the stamps were sponge back. Oh, wow. I don't remember that. That must have been before my time even. That's crazy. I'm glad you guys remember that. That's fun. So now we're going to put these down kind of like this here. And then before I stick that down, I want to tuck this one in over here come on you know like that and then I'm gonna gently tap it down then I'm gonna take my sentiment but before I put this down I'm gonna take this linen thread so what I like to do is I like to just add a couple things of glue look at I just ran out of glue that was like perfect timing because that's the last thing I have to glue down um, so I take this and then oh my gosh come on like it knows it's the end my fingers are so sticky for some reason then I kind of go across here and do like kind of like a figure eight or maybe it's not of course it's not gonna work when I'm trying to explain and this glue it, the seal plus is so sticky you guys it is and then depending on how long it is you will want to you know trim some up it's like permanently stuck to my finger not really but then I'm gonna add some dimensionals and try to remove my finger and then we're gonna add this down 
So that twine or thread isn't going anywhere. And then we're going to take this and put it on our card here, kind of like this. And then what I do is I'm just like going to unravel. I'm going to untwist like the end and like kind of fray it out for a more like natural look or whatever. And then kind of move that around and do the same here. And this end is a little bit too long for me. So I'm going to trim that down. And if you want it like sideways, you can do that. And then I'm going to go in with my little gems and the dark, the these ones here. I'm going to add the two little, um, actually, I'm going to add the bigger ones this time. I'm going to add these just like that. So this is the card with the dark green, evening evergreen. And then I did this card with the Knight of Navy. So um, what I did though, are I used these light green dots and I colored it with the dark Knight of Navy to make it blue, more blue. So um, there, there is this card right here. It's a really pretty card in person and you could make these, look at, there goes my dot in any color and it would be I think really pretty so let me know what your favorite one is tonight in the comments or and or on YouTube and let me show you if you just hopped in and then how you can get these make and takes again so this was our last card and we used the nature's print bundle again you could use any like florally image if you wanted but this Fern 3D folder is really cool that we use in the background. So you might want to get that. And then our second card, we used the little beer stein, the little frosted glass. And it says, another round for your birthday. And um, that was with the Brood for You bundle. And then the first card we used the sweetest cherries with the polished pink and granny apple green and um, this bundle has a punch right here so that was what we used the first one now if you would like to get a set of these make and takes um, you just need to place an order by um, let's see what's today Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday by the end of the weekend so um, and you need to use this host code if you order at least $35 before shipping and tax. I will send you all the cardstock in the ribbons um, for these cards. If you bump your order up to $50 before shipping and tax, remember you're going to get a package of these in color opal rounds. These are an eight fifty. These are eight dollars and fifty cents. So you will get these as a thank you gift from me. And then if your order goes up to $100 before shipping and tax, you're going to get a ribbon sampler. So this is 10 yards, not feet, 10 yards of ribbon. And you're guaranteed to get at least five different colors. And they will all be different. And so you will get two yards of five different colors, a variety pack of retired Stampin' Up! ribbon in all different fun colors and um, types. So there's that. Now, if your order is 150 or more, you can get the host codes. Just select me as your demonstrator, and um, you will still get all of these. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's cards. Oh, let me show you this card. So that, I made this card too with that bundle. I forgot to show you. So this one is stamped. I stamped these, and then I used... Um, a different like that banner this one is just a different banner and I stamped the inside there so the, um, this is the same paper from that he's the man so there's just another card I had made I forgot to show you so anyway if you're on my email list if you're not you can go to um, where is it up here owl star stampers like my website and then join my email list you will get the PDF tutorial for free in the next few days um, when I kind of send out my reminder for last call get your orders in if you want the make and takes in the free gifts 
um, the PDF will be included that time for free. So um, again, if you ordered um, in June and your order, uh, you know, you're already uh, in for the little fun stuff. So I hope you have, I hope you have a really great rest of your week. And that if you are, you know, somewhere where it's really hot, you're able to stay cool. And thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If you missed the video with the swap cards, check that out. And then I do have to go live with my paper pumpkin. The cards are done. They're sitting right next to me, my alternatives for May. But with Memorial Weekend, that was just really crazy. So I have to film that. They're done. I just have to film that and email you guys. So I plan to do that in the next day. And then also the masculine class will be shipped um, as soon as my order arrives tomorrow. I have to cut everything, sort it, package it, print your shipping, and take it to the post office. So I'm hoping to still get it out by the end of the week. So bye, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your uh, evening and uh, week. I'll see you next time. Bye.